Hey, welcome back to the Your Financial EKG YouTube page. My name is Drew Blackston. I am a certified retirement counselor, investment advisor representative, and I am your virtual financial advisor helping you get to retirement helping you get through retirement and protecting your ability to stay in retirement. Now, I want to stay on the bandwagon that I've been talking about the last several weeks, and that is Social Security. And we just found out recently from a government report that Social Security is actually going to run out of money sooner than anticipated, actually in the year 2033. And Medicare is going to run out of money in 2026. And this is before any of this 3.5 trillion dollar infrastructure plan is passed which makes major adjustments to Medicare and Social Security. Now before we go any farther make sure if this is your first time watching the Your Financial EKG YouTube page that you hit the subscribe button below. Smash the like button if you enjoy this content. We always love talking and going through questions or comments so make sure you leave those below and yes if you have a sarcastic remark I read that as well I try to respond to everyone so thank you so much for your engagement with the channel now let's talk about Social Security and I want to put this out here at the front this is not a political video so I want to talk about three ways that we can look at fixing Social Security and this is not a political video. I know I've had to say that twice now but I don't want you to think I'm trying to put politics above just solutions, okay? So let's talk about three ways that we can fix Social Security. Now here's the thing we gotta look at. 2033 is when Social Security is gonna run out of money. In the year 2034, what that means is that every dollar that you were supposed to receive in Social Security benefits, you'll actually receive 78 cents. That's a 22% decrease. So if you think we need to keep kicking the can down the road, we kick the can too far, we're going to get to 2034 and we're going to be in a world of hurt. So the first way, the main way that we can fix Social Security is we can budget. Congress can have a budget and they can cut spending. But that's actually a fantasy and that's a dream. So let me give you three real ways that Social Security can be fixed. Number one, we raise the full retirement age. If you were born between the years 1943 and 1954, your full retirement age right now is 66. That is the age when you would receive your full Social Security benefit. Now you can start taking Social Security for retirement income at 62, but you would get your full benefit at 66. It increases gradually for those born between the ages of 1955 and 1960. If you were born after 1960, your full retirement age is 67. Well, what do we do? We raise full retirement. It's a gradual increase. I don't know what that age is. I don't know what the date of birth would be, but for someone like me, I was born in 1985. Maybe my full retirement age is raised to 70 or 69 or something along those lines to help save money. Maybe I don't start collecting, or you make a solution where I can't start collecting Social Security at 62, the earliest I can collect is 64. Obviously, it's easier to raise the full retirement age on people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s than it is on people in their 50s and 60s, okay? So that's one solution we can raise full retirement age. The second solution, which I don't like, but the second solution to help fix Social Security is we can raise payroll taxes. Now what are payroll taxes? Payroll taxes are what you pay in as the employee and the employer to Social Security, to the Social Security Trust Fund. And this helps pay out benefits for people on Social Security today and it helps pay out retirement income benefits for people on Social Security in the future. Right now the payroll tax is 6.2% that you pay as the employee and the employer pays another 6.2%. Now I'm self-employed, so I actually have to pay that whole amount, which is 12.4%. 
into the Social Security Trust Fund for retirement income. Now, this is my least favorite option. I do not like raising taxes. I believe that that is a um, adverse way for economic growth. I think it's a kick in the shorts for GDP. I believe it's not the way it needs to go. But if you're trying to raise revenue and we see that Social Security is like a train getting ready to go off a cliff, raising payroll taxes is a way to do that. Now, the third option, which is not necessarily a terrible option, is to raise the cap on taxable wages. So number one is to raise full retirement age. Number two is to raise the payroll tax, which that is my least favorite option. And number three is to raise the cap on taxable wages. So right now, that 6.2% in payroll taxes that I pay and that the employer pays into the Social Security Trust Fund is capped at $142,800, which, which means if you make $50,000, you're paying 6.2% into the Social Security Trust Fund on your $50,000. But if you make $200,000, you're only paying $142,800 on your 6.2%. To me, okay, to me, that doesn't seem Fair. Now, both Republicans and Democrats have kind of been against raising the cap on taxable wages, but this is more of a common sense. So if you make a billion dollars, you pay the 6.2% maybe on the billion, or if you make 50,000, you pay the 6.2%. Again, it's a tax increase on those who make more than 142,800, which those are the individuals that are normally kind of sectioned off by politicians, tax the rich, take from those, um, which I don't like. I believe they're the job creators. They're the ones who are paying the most in taxes if you look at the system overall. But that's just another way to fix our broken social security system. Obviously, in a perfect world, in a fantasy world, okay, if you go to sleep tonight and you dream about social security like I do, and in a perfect world, we would budget and we would cut spending in areas that did not make sense so that more money could flow into Social Security and we make common sense solutions to help build Social Security. But that doesn't seem to be happening. At, at this present moment, they're debating a $3.5 trillion infrastructure package in Congress that would actually add people to Medicare. Uh, President Biden wants to add people in, onto Medicare at 60. Uh, Bernie Sanders wants to add people onto Medicare at 55. And the, and the system's already broke by 2026. Just doesn't make sense. And again, I'm not saying this as a political thing. I believe both sides need to come together and find a solution, okay? So how can we fix Social Security? We can raise the full retirement age, we can raise the payroll tax, and we can raise the taxable wages. So I hope this information, I hope this video has been informational for you. Again, not political, just giving you some ideas to help fix Social Security. Hopefully you have subscribed to the channel by now, but if not, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Smash the like button. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down on this video. That's fine. I know this was going to be a firestorm, but I wanted to put this out there, especially on this economic update, and we've been talking about Social Security. So hopefully you're having a great day. Be good. Bye-bye.